So how's it going my NoFap and Seymour Intention brothers? Hope everybody's doing well. You guys are still retaining. You guys are still trying to become the best version of yourselves. Stay productive each day, man. All right, guys. So before I jump in the video, I just want to let you guys know that the first few lines I say in the beginning of every single video, I'm trying to make these a little shorter just so I can get to the information for you guys a little quicker. Okay, guys. And for this, I want your guys' suggestions. All right. I could have done it on my own, but I see this as a brotherhood and I respect your guys' opinions and your suggestions. So if you guys know exactly how much I should say in the beginning or what lines to cut off, you know, leave them in the comment section below or you guys feel free to email me. All right, let's jump into the video. So Seymour Intention, the way of the superior man. The reason I named this video that is because of the things that will happen to you on Seymour Intention. Things I've experienced on my own. Things that other subscribers and other men who've gone on this journey have experienced and all their success stories and how Seymour Retention has actually changed their lives for the better. Now, first, let's start off with what happens mentally. Okay, Mentally, you're able to put focus on the right things. Okay, Back in the day, people probably put focus on things that they cannot control, things that may or may not happen. And because of this, it will drive your mind freaking crazy. So this is the great thing about Seymour Attention. You're even more motivated to just change things that you know that you can change. If you cannot change them, you end up leaving them alone because you know focusing on that is just going to drain you and take energy out of yourself. Another thing that will happen is you will become a lot more decisive. Now this I found in my own experience, I'm able to express my opinions more about things and whatever decision I have to make, I just know that this decision is right for me at this time. And I make that decision because I am very sure about it. I'm sure about myself. I know where I want to be in life, where I want to go, all my goals. So you just become a lot more decisive. Physically, your skin will start to clear up. Okay, hence the glow. The glow is a real thing on semen retention. Okay, your skin really starts to get this different kind of feel to it. And on top of that, people will actually compliment your skin a lot more too. And your increased testosterone, the preservation of all this energy, all these nutrients head to the right place. Where did they head first? To the brain and the central nervous system. And then pretty much everywhere else where they need to go. And because of this, all the increased energy, you're able to get in better workouts too, which is why people say they get better gains when they go on semen retention. Something else that will happen to you, your voice will deepen. Okay, this happened to me gradually, happened around, I think, five or six months when I was on NoFap and semen retention, but it depends how much you guys were addicted to pornography beforehand. You know, I always say this. And then, you know, your benefits will come. Hence, also the deeper voice. And if you guys want to know more about the deep voice thing, I made an entire video to that and you guys can check that out right here. And another thing, guys, you're more at peace with yourselves and you're more present. Something that not almost majority of the world is not. They're not present like in the now. They're always thinking about things that have happened or things that may or may not happen in the future. And you're able to accept things as they are. This was a huge thing for me because it really helped clear up my brain fog, okay? This is pretty much a flow of life. You just let life happen. You're like, okay, something's happening right now. Even if it may not be a good thing, it is just a flow of life, guys, okay? Life is unfolding the way that it needs to to keep you in balance as well. Okay, so don't think of something bad that's happening as, oh, you know, it's a terrible thing that's happening in my life right now. It may be, but it is the flow of life. That is how it was meant to be. Okay. Another thing is that nature will make you happier than any material possession in the world ever could. I'm so serious about this, guys. You guys go take a walk outside. When you're on semen retention, you're able to appreciate so much about nature. Like... <clears throat> how there are trees all around us, they're all giving us oxygen and there's so there's so much wildlife out there that you guys probably never even thought about before and you know how nature is just providing for them without them really ever even thinking about it. Another thing that will happen guys is that it will help your premature ejaculation. This has definitely happened in my experience. 
but here's a tricky thing about premature ejaculation it will happen and you will more than likely relapse the first time you practice this it happened with me a couple of times in the beginning where i tried you know getting to a point where i was going to ejaculate but then you know i tried kegels i tried to hold everything in contracting my pelvic muscles it is also said that between your testicles and your anus that part you're just supposed to squeeze it as much as you possibly can right before you're about to ejaculate and when you actually get a dry orgasm because of that you have your body your orgasms under total control and once you do it's just a very powerful feeling knowing that i can ejaculate when i want to and last thing guys is another thing that will come with team retention is haters okay haters are going to be there because remember that as something gains popularity especially if that's good even if it's if it's i mean if it's bad it will obviously gain haters for obvious reasons but even if it's good it will still get haters because once something gains popularity i just feel that these haters have like no peace in their minds so they can't really let things just be you know they just want to just destroy it somehow like just somehow want to make even like the best things in life seem like they're not actually that good and another thing is that they may just be a little mentally unstable or just they may need to vent or they just may need to release some kind of steam so the way to do that is you know whatever good things in, that are happening they try to make that seem as if it's bad all right guys so haters are not to be taken as personal hate remember that all right guys let's be our heroes man